What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, Caspa's got elite-level tech and elite-level adoption awaits. Of course, this is not financial advice, just my conviction I share with conviction. That said, Caspa's the only crypto project on the current crypto ocean that I know of that came to finish what Bitcoin was invented for in the late 2000s, but simply is not able to. Although Cas has been in existence since November of 2021, Caspa has been in development for over a decade, and I believe we're close to seeing the harvest of Caspa's existence. Pump it up! Prove all things, hold fast, that which is good. Now, before we continue, Crypto Crew, make sure to protect your crypto investments. Self-custody is key. And in my personal opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option. Plug and play, easy to use, and the most affordable cold storage out there. So if you want to order your Tangent Wallet today, you can get 10% off using code Crypto Crew. Check out the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. 10 blocks per second. Fundamentally speaking, Caspa is developing even into the future, becoming more cleaner over time. Therefore, it isn't a stretch for Caspa to be adopted in the energy industry. Here's Caspa KII chairman Paul Fosson. Caspa itself is mined based on energy, and the purpose is to make Caspa cleaner and cleaner. Yeah. You know, it, it, in the end of the day, we uh, we expect Caspa to be mined uh, in, in during the the, 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 the times that are is sunshine so you have almost free energy from the sun so this is a very very uh, obvious basis the clean energy in the beginning this will be used by the clean energy traders and businesses and an energy uh, chain also the water industry and in the end of the day there, there may be a very large application of this uh, gigawatt uh, core so how is the backing of the yeah. stable coin will work we have to do this carefully because once we set this reference it will be of course determine the whole uh, the functionality and stability of this coin but it is basically like you say uh, all the important basic elements of clean energy which is the, the, the megawatt hour or the gigawatt hour and it is about the the, the green the green certificate or the, the the value of green the fact that something is renewable has an extra value in the market it is about no no carbon content uh, so th th it is not not forbidden for like nuclear or fossil but if you have nuclear and fossil then you have to show the added value in a clean market and you can also add some elements of uh, currencies like dollar and uh, euro and the yuan and uh, uh, anyone else if if that would uh, give it a more international global stability the gigawatt stable coin is designed for the energy sector while warp core is caspa's solution for cross-border payments warp core is positioned as a direct competitor to xrp but with major advantages warp core will be decentralized scalable and censorship resistant this could make caspa a major player in the financial system worldwide. Warp Core is what we consider the first of a game-changing project. It'll bridge the gap between the innovation of CASPA and the requirements of global commerce. So ISO 222 is, is now considered the global standard for financial messaging used by financial institutions in over 70 countries. It's about ensuring that CASPA can speak the language of global finance. Warp Core is the, the connection to the financial markets, financial processes. There we are working on an ISO certified, ISO 222 certified. Actually, it's the modernization or the, the stepping up of what we know now with SWIFT between banks. The most important is the quality of it the, because it should be very uh, credible and secure. And it's the ISO standard, ISO certification. Are you saying about the 
Caspa being the currency that the banking system will use? Is it the part of our core? Caspa is always the carrier. Right. Of course, yeah. Layer yeah. one will be the carrier, but not as the currency yeah. that will be used within the banking system. That's not what we're discussing here. It, 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 it can be, of course, any currency, uh, what the bank wants. They can also be the, the, the gigawatt current. Yeah? I see. Yeah, I was going so, to ask the gigawatt point itself. <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's why I use the term of financial value. Financial value. Yeah, you, can, you can bring financial value from one country to the other, from one uh, a sender and a receiver. I see. Worldwide. Right. It's real time. Another ISO standard, ISO 24. 165, which is digital token identifiers. So Warp Core will provide a standardized system for identifying CASPA's digital tokens, ensuring transparency, traceability, and auditability, essential for building trust and meeting um, regulatory requirements. At the heart of Warp Core is its middleware layer. It's a bridge between the decentralized world of CASPA and the established centralized traditional systems. We're introducing and building this as middleware. And what it does is it converts transaction data into an ISO 222 format, making it understandable and compliant with existing banking systems. It helps manage KYC and anti-money laundering checks to ensure that institutions can meet their regulatory obligations without compromising the core CASPA for decentralization. So imagine a future where tokenized assets, lending protocols, and other innovative DeFi applications seamlessly integrate with the traditional financial systems. Warp Core makes this vision a reality. It paves the way for more accessible, transparent, and an equitable financial landscape. Cash Union is also high on the list. Cash Union system worldwide now. This is uh, the instrument for people, the men in the street worldwide, to uh, to pay in uh, money and to bring it to another country, a sender and a receiver wherever on earth. Remittance, right? That's the similar equal end thing, right? Yeah. So what will be the coin there for remittance? Like typically for remittance, you have a currency, right? First of all, if the sender has cash pass and wants to send this to another, then it's a very easy, yeah. easy thing. To can be done uh, relatively easy. But if the sender has a currency, local currency, then of course this currency is converted and brought via Caspa to the receiver. I see. Yeah, on the back of Caspa. Caspa is like the bullet train, right. yeah, with a uh, real time being uh, the, almost at the same place worldwide. Yeah, Caspa is definitely, I like the analogy, it's very, it's, it's a bullet train. It, it, it can send anything yeah. anywhere very quickly and very cheap. Exactly. Yes. What we ba basically do here with these examples is that we look at all the traditional processes mm -hmm. between uh, industries, including the financial industry, and we look like uh, where is there an added value in uh, increasing the speed or lowering the cost or also lowering the energy that's used. Because a lot of processes now consume a lot of energy, and with Caspa, this energy can be reduced. Mm. Yeah, you have this K heavy hash. Uh, algorithm in Caspa, which is uh, an, an, an energy efficiency uh, improvement. So all these improvements that Caspa is, is bringing uh, will be examined in relation to the applications that we see, the, 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 the traditional applications. Mm. And if you see an improvement, of, like in, in sense of cost or speed or, or quality, then we can propose this to these industries. We are the market enabler. We are not the ones that are uh, uh, are building this and, and producing this and selling this, but we are the ones to making the industry aware of it. Yeah. There is a long list of very interesting potential applications. Uh, some of them are our own uh, creativity and inventions, but also a lot of people come to us with potential applications. They come from industries and they say, we have uh, uh, this or that problem, or we, we, we have the idea that with this higher speed of CASPA, we can uh, lower our costs, uh, and then we are investigating this. And if this looks uh, interesting enough, then can, we can put a, a working group on it and try to to work this out and then show it to the industry. Who's actually funding or who's actually behind KII? Uh, th this is a very valid question and that's also one of the reasons why I'm very happy to be able to explain this because uh, some people think that we are very rich people or we have uh, we are sponsored with uh, early coins or something. That's all not true. We do this on a non-paid basis. Of course, we see the interest to ourselves as well. Yeah, we, we are creating a market like we do with DII. We also started very modest 
harvest. And once the market uh, develops, then we will get, we will harvest. We have no uh, no doubt about that. And keep in mind, crypto crew, unlike many crypto projects today, Caspa is not run like a company. And that means all of the people you see on these podcasts, the people that run projects in the Caspa community, the ambassadors are all doing these things pro bono without payment. Same goes for content creators like yours truly. This is why many shills you see on YouTube don't really like Caspa because there are no paychecks coming from Caspa, which proves the point that Caspa is truly decentralized. It proves Caspa's marketing is done completely organically because Caspa is made for the people by the people. Know what you hold, crypto crew, because all Caspa needs is time and adoption. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.